nothing to it. I just pretended they were lawyers. <laughs> no. I've always loved acting. I just never was any good at it. I, I did some acting in the early 60s, and I was horrible. I was the worst actor who ever got before a camera. How do you rate your performance in Gremlins? It's amazing what, what the proper editing can do to an actor's performance. What they did was cut out all, all the mistakes I made. Like old Slim Dickens. My mother, who was an English teacher, taught English journalism and drama, co-wrote with a friend of hers, Elvis Presley's first million seller, Heartbreak Hotel. Now, I was having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich at the time. I saw how much pleasure they got out of writing the song, and then I saw those royalty checks coming. I said, wait a minute. You mean you can have fun and still make a good living in this life? So I started writing songs the next day, and I've been making a living out of music and this stuff for 22 years, and I've never had a career plan. I've never sat down and said, two years from now I'm going to be here, and three years there, and I'm going to do this. I don't care. As long as it's honest, I'm not hurting anybody, having a good time, and keeping a little bacon on the table. Jackson has gained new fame for his movie role. He's the father in Gremlins. He's an inventor who buys his son a mysterious creature <laughs> that multiplies and murders. Listen, I really think there's something I should tell Billy, you. Billy, look at this. Now, you're familiar with the bathroom buddy, right? Uh-huh. I have made an improvement. Watch this. Now, let's say you're late for the big meeting. It's really important. You're on your way in. You reach up. Oh, you forgot to shave. Now, what are you going to do? Under normal circumstances, you are in trouble. But not if you have the bathroom buddy. Right? Watch this. Voila. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, that's pretty neat. Now, what's this button on? No, no, don't push that. that... <laughs> sorry, Dad. No, it's okay. Oh, no, I'm really sorry. No, it's not your fault. I'm working on that. I haven't finished that. I'm gonna get that tomorrow. Dad, the reason I came up here is because there's a problem with the magwai. Yeah, what's that? Well, it multiplies with water. What? I don't believe it. All that from water? They got wet? Yeah, plain water. <laughs> Could never have added that water. Now the movie begins. Our guest now is Hoyt Axton, and we welcome him to take two today. Thanks for being with us. Uh, Don wanted to know how many takes it took you to do that. I suppose that was toothpaste uh, squirting thing. Hey, once hey. with shaving cream, was that once enough? Don, Chris, it only took us <laughs> one take. <laughs> I think it was five. <laughs> five? Uh, lots, lots of changes of jackets. <laughs> Let's talk first about uh, the movie, because it, it's such an, an incredible hit, and a lot of people now know you from the movie, especially younger people, perhaps who weren't familiar with your long career uh, you know, in singing and songwriting. What kind of a reaction have you gotten? How, is, how has the movie changed things for you, if it has? Well, it hasn't really changed that much, except that I've been doing a lot of promotion for it, and so I've met a lot of nice people in the news media. Uh, well, more people smile at me now than ever before. <laughs> I have a, a lot of children see you on the street and they say, Hey, uh, Gremlin! <laughs> I say, hi, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm very pleased to have been associated with this film. It was a good uh, experience from the very beginning. All the people uh, wanted to be there, all the people who were working on the film, and now to see how successful it is, it just makes me feel good. Is there a story behind your being chosen to play this particular role, or was this... Uh an uneventful event for you. How did it come about? I was uh, given a script, read the script, and I liked it. See, I have a feeling, I'm, I'm no preacher, I'm not qualified to be a preacher mm -hmm. with the life I've led, <laughs> but I have a, a moral obligation to my, my family and my friends to not do what I consider to be really bad films. Films that are full of four-letter words and bloody heads dangling from tree branches, and you know, Manson-type murders and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't want to do that kind of stuff. Life is too short, and I don't want to have my time taken up with that. So I'm always looking for scripts that are good family films. I was very fortunate to be in The Black Stallion. I played the little boy's father in that. And that was one of my all-time favorite films. And I was in Heart Like a Wheel, which was a, a pretty decent film. And uh, that's what I'm looking for. And Gremlins fits that.
package of that, my idea of what a good film is all about to a T. So when I read the script, I said, yeah, I like this script. And uh, when I met the people involved in it, I really liked them. And we, I'm not kidding, we had a good time doing the film. <laughs> well, so the audiences apparently have a good time, too. Uh, you wrote your, your first song of hundreds of songs I read at the age of, of 15. Do you remember that song? Do you remember what happened to it? Well, yeah, it's still in.